Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the rooms. Actually, this is a really simple tutorial, but most of you need it. Uh, let's say you have like a house and you have like several rooms, like living room, kitchen, bathroom. By separately you know everything about these uh, rooms. We can select it and we get all information what you will wrote here inside uh, to this data. But uh, anyway, uh, separately you know, but l like one room you don't know uh, the data. Yes, you can manually calculate how much, uh, for example, square meters here. Uh, it's fine, but you wanna get it like in one, uh, like one room. Uh, yes, you can create like areas. It's working. You can create like where areas, but areas actually have a lot of the other problems. Uh, I not will cover it. I will just say if you something uh, will change, you need to do the twice work. You need, for example, change the room, and after that you need change the uh, your areas. So if you have small object, it's fine. But if you have the big project, uh, it's not fine because it's uh, the taking a lot of the time. We gonna talk only about the rooms. Let me will show you the one way how you can uh, combine the rooms like a one uh, big uh, room. As you can see inside the rooms, we have like uh, parameters, uh, number and name. Uh, the number parameter it's uh, unique for each one. As you can see, here's 14. Here's the eight. If you will change eight to the 14. Revit will say it this is actually impossible because you will duplicate the numbers and that's why the numbers it's let's say like a unique number of your room so it's uh, you cannot for example to make the same number for all of this room and this is really bit bad thing but we can do that actually if you will go to the manage here you will find the project parameters let me go to the project parameters and let's add the new project parameters and let's call this as number of room and we will call it instance we will change the link to the uh, better to change to the text uh, because maybe you will not uh, use exactly numbers, maybe you will combine like A01, let's say like that. So, and let's group it by text. For example, we will leave it like text. You can change it later on. This thing you can change, it. this not. And where will be this parameter? So, because we're changing the our rooms, it will be only for our rooms here rooms let's say okay let's say okay now once you will select our room you will see the new parameter let me will show you you can already see it under the text now you can see the number of room and this parameter can be same can be duplicated for everything let me will show you for example here the room and we understand this is a room number let's say a03 so th just this is a number of the room let me, I will change for the kitchen too. Now you can choose it, A03. And here the bathroom, let me, I will change it too. So let's select it and let's change it A03. Fine. How you can see it right now, like a one room. We should change just the color scheme. As you can see, it's color scheme. Let's use it and we can change it here. But before we will change, let's don't touch this one by name because we need it by name. Let me copy it and we call it like by number. Number of room. Because we already have the number as you can see. Let's say okay. Now we get the new one, but our color still now changing by name. Let me I will change this is by number of room. Let's say OK, and now as you can see, AO3 now has only one solid color. Let's say OK, now you, can, you cannot see actually the difference, but I will show you the difference. If now we will select the another room, let's say this is room will be, number of the room will be A02. And let's select all of them, all these rooms, which I have here, and this is will be a02 now as you can see our rooms was changed so this is pretty fine now we know how to change it inside in your i mean the uh, by color scheme actually we can create a few color scheme for example here's our zero level zero let me will duplicate the view with uh, without detailing kind of needed and here there will be another color scheme previous one with the name and as you can see we have the same plan 
but we have uh, let me select uh, switch off with it, uh, that thing and now you can see here is the by room of number and here by just the name uh, let me I will place here the my tags I will let's tag everything I need on room tags only and as you can see now here is the room tags but for that thing we don't have the room tag and we should create it I will delete all the room tags, so we should create the room tags. Uh, I think this is uh, another tutorial how we can create the room tags for that one. Uh, but in this tutorial, I will show you how we can calculate it. This is more, much important. Let me I will use the new schedule. Let me I will uh, create the new schedule by quantities, and I need the room. Let me I will find the room. Here is the rooms, and let's properly call it. First, we will call it just room uh, by name to understand better what's going on. Here it will be just room by, na by name and what we need. We need of course the area, we need the number and name. So the area will be last one, uh, the number will be first one and the name and area. Let's say like that and this is, will be itemized because we want to calculate each one and will be sorted by the number. Let's say OK. What we get? The number, type of the uh, our room and area. Fine. Let me will create another Oh, sorry, this is not right schedule. Let me create the new schedule by quantities. This is, will be also the for the room. Where is the room? Here's the rooms. And here, this is, will be uh, another type of the room. Room by number of... Uh, by number of what? <laughs> of rooms, this is, will be terrible. Uh, by number, let me call it like that. This will be okay for us. Let's say okay. We need the same thing. We need area. We need the name, and we need uh, we need the not number. Now we need number of room, and let's place it here. The area will be last one. Let's say okay. What we get here? Uh, yes, of course, some of the rooms still don't have the number of rooms, but some already have it. And uh, let me, I will uh, sort it by number of room. And now what you can see, AO2 it's here, AO3 it's here. And as you can see, we can properly see uh, where's our rooms. Let me, I will do like this. Okay, so what we, uh, let, let me, I will place uh, all, for all the rooms, I will place uh, the number. It will be much better. Let's say like that. And this is, will be A01. And this will be AO2. AO2. So like this, something like that. Uh, actually, it's not will be AO2 because it will be AO3 because it's the same one. It's the, actually, this is, doesn't matter, but let me I'll place it everything correct. Okay, so now, as you can see, we have the all the area. Let me I'll go back to the schedule. AO1, AO2, AO3. Uh, but how we can calculate it together? So first one, we let's go to the uh, formatting here, the area, and let's calculate the total because one understand one understand where is our total. So let's say okay. Here is nothing changed, of course. Let me go back to the sorting one, and we need the grand total. We want a total only, and uh, here is our total as you can see. We can do another thing. We can go back to the sorting one, uh, do the header, footer. And here we want to also calculate the total. And what we get? As you can see, AO1 have 41 meter, AO2 47, and AO3 59 square meter. As you can see, this is simple thing, help you to combine the rooms. We understand, we, maybe we will uh, place one more room. Yes, we can do that. That's why I'm saying this is really simple for us. For example, let me I will use the room separator. I will place one more here. And let's place the room here. Uh, as we understand here is the AO3, let's call this uh, uh, room, I don't know, like kitchen or dinner area, uh, dinner area, and I said this is area, and I said here is the dinner, uh, and this is, will be same, zero, A. I I think this is two, not, here is not two, here is the three, let me check it, yeah, it's three, and if you will go back to the number, you will see it's recalculated with dinner area here, five square meter. So by this simple way, 
you can combine not only the living rooms uh, or single rooms. I think if you're working with the factories uh, or the manufacturer, you can combine all areas like that. Also, for example, you can combine by this way uh, not only the mm, same rooms. You can combine it by some special parameter. Let's say this is mechanical area. This is a living area. This is just a corridor or something else. So limitless only your imagination. I hope this tutorial was really simple for you and uh, really, really useful. Uh, be let me know below the comments and see you next time.